All right, welcome back. I'm gonna vlog this time series. It's been a little while. Heading toward the end of July here. I just uh, installed these Core Moto brake lines. That's braided lines, so it got rid of the old rubber ones and wow I got a handle now I, I, I had the rear as well thanks Nate for making the contacts to make that happen I'm gonna scrub some of these scrub these tires in a little bit I although I was as careful as I possibly could be I ended up with a little bit of brake fluid getting on my tire. It's a bummer. But oh well. What are you going to do? It is Wheelie Wednesday. And Saturday and Sunday I went out to the racetrack at Hallett Motor Racing Circuit and it was a great time I tried out my new slipper clutch on the GSXR that was awesome worked fantastically and uh, got to spend some really good times with my friends oh Speaking of Hallett Motor Racing Circuit, all right, people don't turn now. That's crazy. I don't like coming up on situations like that. Uh, my race bike, since I had been hitting it pretty hard on the brakes, and even last year, it was the first year with the Brembo calipers, on my GSXR, I figured since I was breaking out a new jug of brake fluid to bleed these brakes and get them these brake lines established, I thought, well, I might as well not waste it because once you open up brake fluid that you're going to use, it's a done deal. That ship sailed, so you might as well use it and bleed all the brakes that you can. So that's what I did. I bled the brakes in the race bike and already my handle was firm. It just firmed it right back up. Try as I might, I still kind of overdo it on my coasting and trail braking. You know, I'm not a extreme track rider or racer or anything like that, but I have had Yo, uh, I'm looking at it here. The brake lever, I've had it go to the handlebar before, and that's no bueno. I had that happen when I was doing races still, and that was just at Track Addicts GP. That's great. I enjoyed doing that. That was just a track uh, racing group only at the end of the track day you do your your race and that's all you really do is you just have your different groups i did the supermoto with my yz and also with the gsxr afterwards you had the lightweight and then you had the superbike and my 750 classifies as a superbike but those split calipers that that the GSXRs used of those years really just, even though I rebuilt them, they just always let in some air, never fails. Never fails. So I went to the Brimbos, so I had the Brimbo brakes. Brimbo Caliper and Galfer USA braided brake lines on the Gixxer. And of course on this I got these Core Motos and it's cool because it has the 
gold color, which is really nice. Complement my wheels. That's just a nice accoutrement to to them being braided. I could, you know, for the most part, if you know me, I don't care so much about the aesthetic. I like things to be nice. But they can just be plain Jane to me. But I want to tell you, the, the gold makes it snazzy. Really improves the handle. And looks good whilst doing it. So I'm happy with it. Yeah, I'm just cruising along. 67 miles an hour on the doozy. On the YZ, or the YZ doozy. <laughs> on the DRZ, the 470 Stroker Big Boar. Yeah, look, late July, we got corn. This is non-irrigated for the most part. It's doing pretty good. Yeah, but this, yeah, so something I haven't shared on my vlogs yet. I, I recorded some stuff, but it just didn't turn out how I wanted it to. Uh, was I put a new headlight on this. A new headlight and you know a lot of people use they use the JNS kit which works great. It's on Nate's bike and I was really pretty jealous about it. But I upgraded it on this one to a well I upgraded the factory one to an LED bulb an LED bulb and it took a dookie on me. Oh great, I get to sit here and wait for a train. Thank you people for slow poking around. I think I'll turn around and hoon around. Anyway, I put an LED bulb in it. And on low beam it started flickering. So I think it would have been like September, August or September last year that I put this in there. And it just now being July this year, I'm pretty disappointed in that. So that's a bummer. So I I ended up getting the... This is just kind of, for the most part, uh, unbranded or just a generic uh, 4x6 headlight and the Ford... I think it's called Ford Industries or Ford Technologies or Ford Fabrications. I think that's what it is. Ford Fabrications uh, mounting kit for it. I had to get four four uh m4 get off me four m4 screws and i think they were like 14 or 16 millimeters long at 0.7 pitch to mount the one in which i ended up getting to to the bracket so it's in set set in there and i think it rivals whatever bulb that comes or the housing. This is a whole housing for the 4x6 headlight housing, so it's not just a bulb replacement. The low beam is really good, and the high beam is, I mean, it's just, it's a big improvement, so I'm happy with it. Uh, let's see, what else is it? So, and if you have one of these, you'll know that the factory just is not bright. So, that's that's a new thing. All right, so I covered the Jixer. I covered the brake lines on this. And it just felt good to be at the track. Felt really good to be at the track again. And I can't wait to go again next month. We got harvest coming up. All right, so there's second. There's third. Let's see what third will do for us. You got to wheelie the railroad tracks. So, so third. That's that's a pretty good one for a wheelie Wednesday. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, that's. That's fun. Yes, I'm going to the gym. This is Wednesday, which usually falls for leg day. I do 
chest Monday, arms on Tuesday, and legs on Wednesday, and shoulders back and traps on Thursday. Sometimes that it doesn't always fall right for me, but that's just how I like it to be. What's up, buddy? <laughs> that's the people that owns the buildings next to me. Oh, but I don't want to talk too much about where I live because I don't share that with anybody. With my great big YouTube following that I have right now. <laughs> not, not that that matters to me. I do this just simply for fun. I'm going to share my experience. Nope. Everybody else is having a good time. The people that follow this. Oh, yes. That's another thing to talk about. I've been making pickles with my mother. We've got a compost garden at the winery. And I've been growing some cucumbers there with some help from my mentor, Richard. And uh, Mom and I, we have a special combination of dill pickle and spicy pickle uh, that we combine the two together and we make these spicy dill pickles. I brought some to the track uh, over the track weekend and one person in particular <laughs> destroyed them and he got a little weird while he was doing it but I think he was just trying to tease a little bit but he really liked my pickles inside him <laughs> oh my gosh now Justin I love you man anyway I made it to the gym so I'm gonna hit some legs and I'll just see you till I'll see you the next time, the next vlog that we do. I want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.